Okay, so a uh, little bit of change of pace. Um, so next up, we are going to welcome Scott to the stage. Let's give Scott a big hand. So uh, Scott also has Channel Scott on YouTube, which I have frequented. 503 views, uh, 503 subscribers. 503 subscribers. 504, sorry. 504. Tell him. 504. Okay, good evening everyone. How is everyone tonight? Okay, so my name is Scott. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you a few jokes tonight. And uh, the same thing, the same thing applies. So um, you know, they're not necessarily going to be funny jokes. But if I don't get many laughs, next month I'll do an extra five minutes. Yeah, that, yeah, that com that concentrates the mind a bit, doesn't it? Anyway, so I should start by saying um, Happy Yorkshire Day. Any 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 Yorkshiremen or Yorkshire ladies? Yeah, uh, very good. Yeah, now someone at work told me that it was impolite to ask someone if they're from Yorkshire because if they're not from Yorkshire you'll just embarrass them and if they're half of Yorkshire they would have told you already so that's uh, that's the thing in there so um, any uh, do we have any scaffolders in the room there are scaffolders right so see me after if you're a scaffolder see me afterwards there's a new website I've got to tell you about there's a really good platform <laughs> there it is, we're off. Any, do we have, oh don't put your hands in your head. Give me a bit of hope here. Do we have any, uh, do we have, you laugh some, sometimes as well, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. as many laughs as we can. So do we have any zookeepers in the room? Zookeepers. Yes, you're a zookeeper, I can tell. Right, zookeeping. So, they, down in Bristol Zoo, they were, when the animals die, they were going to paint them all. I don't think it's a good idea. I think they're just in danger of trading some white elephants. <laughs> it's going as well. Did you know? Not many people know. Not many people know this week is National Bad Communication Week. <laughs> oh, you laugh, laugh over there. Laugh one o'clock. Well done, son. Thank you. And um, I did something yesterday. I, d I did something yesterday that gave me a real headache. I lost my paracetamol. No. <laughs> it's going as usual. No, okay, this is a good one. This is a good one. In a recent, in a recent survey... No, in a dying of death. <laughs> in a recent survey... Uh, did you know, in a recent survey, that uh, they say that 30% of the British public during lockdown lost the ability to do basic maths. And that's more that's more than half. <laughs> I, I think they're funny. I've just bought these are these this is gold standard stuff I've, I've just bought a photo of a river online. Amazon. <laughs> I've done a Zoom call at work on a Zoom call. Someone told a joke, I said, not remotely funny. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, this, no, this, this is a good one, actually, this is a good one. So I was listening to the radio, listening to the radio, and someone was, was, uh, was singing about dustbin lids, tablecloths, and dust sheets. I thought, he just does covers. <laughs> just does covers, he does. So uh, I was struggling to get my computer to work and it said click on the icon. I don't know what it meant, but then a picture of Clint Eastwood came up, so I knew obviously what that was. And then, and then someone in work, they poured a can of Coke over their, over, their, um, over their computer. I said, why the hell did you do that? And it said, refresh your screen. <laughs> so that was okay. Um, <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Someone, someone, someone else in the... I'm only on page one. <laughs> Three more to go. Anyway, uh, someone in work said to me, he complained to me. He said, he said, I get blamed for everything. I said, whose fault's that? 
Whose fault's that? There we go. Turn the, turn the page, there we go. Anyway, uh, school down the road, they, uh, they're all supposed to go on hygiene training, but they missed it. It's okay, they're going to have a wash-up session. Uh, then there was going to be another seminar on how to sell 0% loans, but they had to cancel it due to lack of interest. Any Star Wars fans in? Yes. Yeah, Star Wars. I love Star Wars. And, uh, but they, they were interviewing some of the cast a couple of weeks ago. And they were saying that back in the day when they were making Star Wars, apparently all the actors that were there were complaining because they were just like treated like numbers. Worse ones that R2-D2 and C-3PO. I thought that was funny. Um, Ikea. Ikea have just opened a medical center just for their staff, the guys that make the furniture. Now before they register, they've got to give a stool sample. <laughs> Kendall's up the road. Everyone like Kendall's butchers up the road. Yeah, yeah, I've given them enough business on my channel. You think they give you a discount, they don't. Full price, full price. Anyway, um, Kendall's up the road, they've just got a math student in for the, uh, for the summer and he's done like, something different, they're little, little rumps and they all weigh 3.14 ounces. I said, what's that? He said, steak pie. Um, <laughs> thank you, Mary. So, someone in here the other night, they... Um, they bought a pint and they gave the, the bar person a bag of Granny Smiths. I said, what the hell's all that? I said, it's that Apple Pay, isn't it? I was speaking to... Keep going, just keep going. I was speaking to someone about, you know, about artificial intelligence. I said, do you think artificial intelligence is a good thing? He said, yes, I do think it is a good thing. <laughs> Right, this is, this is on the edge. My computer has applied for gender reassignment. It wants to go non-binary. <laughs> yeah, on the edge, that one. Uh, so I met someone who claims to have invented the zero. I said to him, the zero? That's nothing. <laughs> My other half, Elizabeth. My other half, Elizabeth, she took me to a, she said, a clothes shop that was suited, suited me down to the ground. So we went there and it was fat face, wasn't it? <laughs> that was a bit nasty. Close to the bone, that one. We're almost there, don't worry. We're almost there. Jehovah's Witnesses. Jehovah's Witnesses knocked the door and they went, they went, oh, listen, please, I've got long left to go here. Jehovah's Witnesses. They were um, talking to me about Armageddon. Armageddon. I said, come on, it's not the end of the world, is it? And uh, I said to them, I said to them, God is so powerful, why haven't he given men eyes on the backs of their head? He said, well, with hindsight, I would have done. There's been a few murders, a spate of cyclist murders on the bridal way. Police don't know where. They're looking for a psychopath. Okay. New barbers up the road, Pakistani barbers. It's called Urdu. Urdu. Now Elizabeth is not the greatest cook in the world. She's pretty good at tinned fruit though. Sorry, tinned food, tinned food. Uh, she says, I always complain when she gives, give, when she gives me alphabetti spaghetti. I said to her, you're putting words into my mouth. I thought that was funny. A friend of mine's doing a degree in salads. He's not the greatest uh, degree in the world, but at least he'll have lettuce after his name. Okay? Alright. Someone nicked my hat. Someone nicked my hat. I said, on your head be it. What page are you on, Scott? We're almost there, don't worry. Uh, we were, I was at least last week and someone says there's no such thing. No such thing as a stupid question. I said, do giraffes like gravy? Uh, no. 
local pet shop, it's right out of chameleons. You know, good chameleons are very difficult to find. I was supposed to go to Specsavers. Couldn't find the place. Couldn't find it. Anyway, we're almost there. So I was, um, I do have a channel called Channel Scott. It's got 504 views now. So it's, 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 it's obviously free to subscribe. So please just press subscribe. Channel, channel Scott. It's, uh, it's, it's incredible. Oh, it's, it's incredible. Netflix only, not really. So anyway, I went to the dentist. And I, uh, I, said, I said, extractions. I said, what can you do for me, extractions? He said, well, we've got perfect system, wonderful drugs here, uh, really trained staff. Uh, it's one of three options we do, one of three options. Uh, 1,700 quid. I thought, oh no, 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 no. I said, what, what else can you do for me? He said, okay, we've got option two. Drugs not quite as good. It's a bit brutal, you will feel a little bit, but it's, it's okay, it'll be out, you're fine. I said, how much is that? He said, well, that's a grand. I thought, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I said, what's your third option? He said, well, okay, we just knock you with a club, with loads of blood, we just yank it out. He said, um, you know, get it out, it's not great, you will feel pain, you'll have to have a few days off work, it's not good. But, you know, it's only 30 quid. I said, oh, okay, 30 quid. Anyway, so, um, so I've booked Elizabeth in for next Thursday. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, so I think I'm going to get off. I'm going to get off, I think. You've been very kind, all of you. Maybe we'll leave the thing up until the November sign. Thank you very much. Oh, thank, you. thank you very much. And good night. Thank you to Scott. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please consider subscribing to this channel. Also, I'd be very grateful if you could like this video and hit that notification bell. If you do that, you'll continue to receive lots more rubbish just like this.